Hi there. In this short lecture, we will learn about how to deploy company portal application using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. With the help of company portal application, an employee can access your company's resources securely and he can also enroll the device with the help of company portal if it is a Android or Apple devices and also he can manage the devices maybe if the user have a multiple devices he should be able to even manage a different set of devices directly from the company portal application including their applications and their compliance policies configurations all of that can be managed with the help of company portal application for your information company portal also available over the web based as well as as an app also available in this lecture we will learn how to deploy as an application for windows devices and in other sections we will also look into android based or apple based company portal application deployment method but this specific lecture focuses on windows uh, for deploying a company portal application before i go into the app app based deployment from here I wanted to show you the experience from a web based so very rarely people also use directly from web based so this is my one of the client machine where Chris is a user who has logged into this machine and he should be able to use company portal website just in case if he can you know navigate to portal.manage.microsoft.com and uh, this is how it will be there so you do not have any apps yet that's what it says and these are the devices if I click on it he should be able to see here applications and the devices so if you see as a user uh, for Memco's lab demo uh, which is the tenant or Intune which is actually showing very clearly there are three different set of devices or available and out of that if I select here e15 paddy iPhone e15 is a computer name uh, this actually shows that this device cannot access company resources because it's not at encrypted there's no TPM uh, that all because of that it's not going to access the company resources so you get the complete idea with the use of the company portal so this is very useful but uh, we don't want to go for the web based application method instead we wanted to use an application based experience for that all you have to do is go to microsoft endpoint manager admin center navigate to applications click on windows application by platform click on add now within this you have two options if you see microsoft store for app this is a legacy method that microsoft store for business when you had this a Microsoft Store for Business method you used to use this method but this is no more supported starting from 2022 November and today we are doing this demo in the year 2023 so meaning you have to start using the latest Microsoft Store experience for that I have made two different videos why uh, we have to go for the new store experience all of that was explained in the section 3 uh, don't you know stick to the section numbers instead you know locate the section name uh, first tips to configure into an infrastructure out of this you have uh, somewhere here you have an option introduction to universal windows platform as well as the pws and uh, windows package manager winget and the new microsoft store these two lectures are going to cover in depth of the background of the new Microsoft Store experience. Uh, either way, we are going to cover now here how to deploy a latest Microsoft Store application. So click on here, Store, click on Next. And uh, here, you don't need to do any kind of you know uh, package creation. Instead, all you have to do is you have to search for the company and then Portal. All you have to do is company portal that's it so it's gonna list here the application that is available simply select that application click on select and uh, you can you know choose the uh, method of the category all of that you know these are the pre uh, requirements or the pre configuration that we have to do it normally 
like you know what kind of a category of this application do you want you to show this into the company portal application itself in in this case it's just a company portal we don't want to show definitely and the url privacy nodes on the owner of this application and if there isn't a logo available you should be able to use that company uh, portal logo so once you have done all of that click on next and you can apply to all the devices or all the users because this is a very common application that is definitely needed for everybody so it's a good to you know apply for all devices so that every user will have a company portal on their start button and of course if you want to filter based on uh, filtering let's say I want to only apply for corporate devices or Windows devices bring your own devices only so you have all that you know option so in my case I'm just applying for corporate devices with the device ownership equal into corporate select click on next and create boom that's it the company portal application gets deployed uh, for all the devices or all the users uh, based on the target group that we have chosen so you could be able to review the configuration from properties so simply navigate here so it's target for all devices so in a minute or so I would get here a company portal application let's say if I wanted to force it uh, to resync this I can always do it by going to the settings and accounts access work or school from info button I can sync, ensure the sync so that it gets actually uh, downloaded the latest uh, packages based on the policies that we have targeted. We have waited for a couple of minutes. Now we should be able to see here the company portal application. This is how it looks like. With the help of company portal application, I should be able to manage my applications, my devices complaints. All of that can be done with a single application called company portal application this is just like you know think that it can be you know your uh, a client kind of thing it's an interface for your multiple devices so in this case it's asking hey what is the category of this device I could say this could be maybe accounting and then I should be able to show my all the devices that I have already and this is where it's going to show the notification if anything is missing or any action is needed and this is where it's going to show up any kind of downloads updates and any applications for example here the latest adobe creative application is already available in case if you want to reinstall i should be able to do it and these are the you know uh, possible options that you have with the help of company portal i hope this short lecture will be useful for you thank you for watching this i'll catch you in the next lecture